All right, ready for a deep dive? Today, we're taking a look at Mr. Marx's Math Corner. Oh, Mr. Marx, from the YouTube channel, right? Yeah, Mr. Marx Math Adventures. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, in this post, he's sharing some comments he made on LinkedIn about growth mindset. Hmm, growth mindset. Super important, especially for STEM. Right, and what I love is that his advice is really actionable. Like you could actually use it. Exactly. So he starts by talking about how important it is to model that growth mindset yourself. I see. So like walk the walk. Exactly. Like admit when you make mistakes. He even suggests doing it with a little humor. Oh, that's a good point. Makes it more relatable. Right. right. Totally. Like, hey, I messed this up, but we're going to figure it out together. There's actually research on that showing vulnerability as an educator. Oh, interesting. Tell me more. Yeah, it creates a safer space for learning. And then students are more engaged. It's like giving them permission to not be perfect. Exactly. Everyone's learning. So Mr. Marx also talks about giving feedback. Ah, yeah. Feedback's crucial. And he really emphasizes focusing on the process, the effort. Yeah, not just the end result. Right. Like instead of just saying, good job. Yeah. You could say something like, Like, I really saw you working hard on that. You stuck with it. Yes. Or I can tell you put a lot of thought into your approach much more specific so the student knows what they did well and it connects back to growth mindset right. right like effort leads to improvement exactly and it ties into carol dweck's research on growth mindset too she's like the guru of growth mindset totally her work shows that this kind of feedback helps students feel more in control like their abilities aren't fixed they can learn and grow yes and that leaves us to his point about curiosity oh yeah he talks about asking open-ended questions. To really get students thinking. Exactly. Like, what are you most curious about in this topic? That's a great question. Get them thinking about what they want to learn. And he gives an example about designing assignments with different ways to complete them. Oh, I like that. So it's not just one right answer. Yeah. Multiple paths to success. Which makes sense, right? In STEM, there's often more than one way to solve a problem. And it gives students more agency, right? Sure. Like they get to choose their own approach. Makes it more engaging for sure. Definitely. So what else does Mr. Marx talk about? Well, he talks about celebrating learning. Celebrating. Yeah. Not just achievement, but the effort itself. Oh, I like that. Recognizing that hard work. And he talks about different ways to give praise, both publicly and privately. Mm. That's interesting. Why the distinction? He says public praise can motivate the whole group, but private praise is more personalized. I see. So you get the best of both worlds. Exactly. Well, this is already super helpful. Right. And we've only just scratched the surface. Can't wait to dive deeper into Mr. Marx's wisdom. Well, do it. You know, one thing that really struck me was Mr. Marx's idea about helping students recognize their own mistakes. Oh, yeah. How did he put that? Instead of just saying, hey, you did this wrong. He suggests asking questions. Like guiding them, right? Yeah, so they discover the mistake on their own. Hmm, makes sense. It's more empowering. Exactly. And they're more likely to learn from it that way. Instead of just feeling like, oh, I messed up again. Okay, it's like, oh, I see where I went wrong. I can fix that. It builds those critical thinking skills. Absolutely. And it creates a more positive learning environment. Mistakes become opportunities. Exactly. Well, this is all super insightful. I know, right? Mr. Marx is full of great advice. Really makes you think about how we approach learning and teaching. For sure. I'm already thinking about how I can apply some of this to my own work. Me too. It's a good reminder that we're all lifelong learners. Couldn't have said it better myself. One thing that really stood out to me was Mr. Marx's belief that everyone can enjoy math. Yeah, he really emphasizes that. Like math isn't just for some select few. It's for everyone. Exactly. And he talks about making math more engaging, connecting it to the real world. Right. Like it's not just abstract formulas. It's a tool we can use. He's all about going beyond just memorization. It's about understanding the concepts. And he's always coming up with these creative ways to teach it. Like those assignments with multiple solutions, remember? Oh, yeah. That was a good one. It encourages students to think differently. And to find what works best for them. So as we wrap up, how can you apply these ideas to your own life? Hmm. Good question. Whether you're a student, a teacher, or just someone who wants to learn and grow. There's something here for everyone. Right? Exactly. Mr. Marx's insights are for everyone. It's all about embracing challenges, learning from mistakes. And celebrating the journey. Well said. Until next time. Bye, everyone.